As a kid growing up in Longview, Texas, chemical engineer Chris Jones Prather had a definite mechanical aptitude. So I was one of those kids who always liked tinkering. Um, I'm an, an engineer, uh, but a, much of engineering work is very science-based now. Um, so I was the kid who had to program the VCR in the, in the house um, and fix the toilet. And, uh, and I remember having to take apart the uh, bathroom sink to find a, a necklace that my mom had lost once. <laughs> but a career? She didn't have a clue. Football, not science, was the big obsession in East Texas. Not far from Dallas, Prather and her friends dreamed of hitting it big in pro sports. Junior year in high school, that changed. Science appeared on Prather's career radar thanks to a teacher, a history teacher. I had taken the PSAT the year before, and I had started to get a lot of information about colleges. Um, and I had uh, AP World History right before lunch, and I would often stay after class uh, into the lunch period and talk to my history teacher. And so one day I said, I'm getting all this information about colleges, I think I have to decide where I'm going to go to school. And she said, what do you want to do? And I said, I have no idea. She said, well, what do you like? And I said, I like math, but I think math is a little bit too abstract. Um, so I don't want to study math by itself. Um, and I also like science. And she said, well, great. If you like math and you like science, you should be an engineer. What kind of science do you like? And I was taking chemistry at the time. And I said, you know, I'm really enjoying chemistry. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's a, a bit of mathematics involved in terms of balancing equations. Um, and she said, well, that's fantastic. You're going to be a chemical engineer, and you're going to go to MIT. And I said, terrific. What's MIT? Uh, and, and so began this journey of ultimately finding my way uh, to where I am now, which is teaching in chemical engineering. Prather's family lent their support as she started that journey. My, my mom was thrilled. Um, uh, I actually I grew up just with my mom and my sisters. My father passed away when I was very young. I was less than two years old. I have an older sister, and my mom never remarried, so it was always the girls. So she actually, uh, she was extremely supportive my, and, and encouraged me to go. My grandparents and my mother and I all loaded up into the van and drove from East Texas to, uh, to Boston the summer before my freshman year. Prather flourished at MIT, earning her bachelor's degree in 1994. She earned her PhD from the University of California in Berkeley. After working for Merck, the big pharmaceutical company, she returned to MIT as a professor. Prather's research involves genetically engineering microorganisms to produce medications, biofuels, and other useful substances. She has testified on this field, synthetic biology, before the U.S. Congress. And back in academia, Prather won awards for teaching. She has a special interest in encouraging young women and underrepresented minorities to stay in science despite its frustrations. As a graduate student, I, I think graduate school can be extremely challenging. Um, and usually, and I, I, I sort of tease students now when they're usually about their third or their fourth year. And I say, oh, how's it going? And then you get this you know, two or three minute recitation about how horrible things are. And I say, fantastic, you're right on track. Um, because I think there, there definitely are those lulls where things aren't moving as fast as you want them to. Um, and so, so there was certainly frustration. There was never a point at which I thought I would quit. In this International Year of Chemistry, Prather points out that social network sites and the rest of the Internet greatly facilitate efforts to encourage women into science careers and to stay in that career path. I get contacted all the time by organizations or individuals that are focused on women and women in science um, outside of the U.S. And I think that that's a very, um, it, it's the right time to be doing science. Science is collaborative and the opportunities to have those collaborations beyond just the U.S. and I think more globally are greater now than they've ever been. And I, I can only imagine that'll get better as we think ahead to additional years.